and your lactation consultant. So today, panibagong aral ang isi-share ko sa inyo. So one of our subscribe, my subscribers, messaged me this morning that she woke up yesterday, early morning, na napifil niya talagang masakit na masakit na yung breast niya, na mamaga at nagtatanong siya early morning kung anong gagawin niya dahil hirap na hirap niya siya, feeling niya na parang nagkakaroon na siya ng fever. Okay? Fever. So, I was thinking na overfull yung breast niya at nagkakaroon siya ng engorgement or namamaga parte ng um, this part niya, ng areola niya. Namamaga daw ito at uh, hirap na hirap siya magpadede. Feel niya parang nanginginig siya, parang nagchichill siya, para siyang my fever at ang sakit 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 na talaga ng breast niya kaya nag-message siya sa akin so today is about breast pain uh, areolar pain uh, nipple pain uh, kasi maging sensitive din ang nipple natin pag minsan na mamaga around the areola at siguro inflamed din yung breast niya when it comes to too much milk inside na hindi na release yung milk so Marami sa situation that I've handled in our clinic about uh, this kind of problem na sobrang engorged na engorged si mom, hindi niya alam kung paano na i-relieve yung engorgement. Um, I'll, I'll explain to you kung ano mangyayari pag nag-engorge ang breast ninyo. Kasi kalimitan hindi ito na i-explain ng mga doktor sa inyo kung especially pag hindi kayo, when time come, comes na namamaga yung breast nyo, wala kayong time uh, pumunta sa doktor, wala kayong knowledge kung anong gagawin nyo, lalo na kung buntis ka ngayon, or, or it never happened to you in your first baby. Baka sa second baby nyo, mangyayari. So, nangyayari na na mamaga, the, the first indication talaga na sasabihin ko na medyo hindi na empty fully yung breast niyo mapifeel nyo talaga na matigas na matigas yung breast nyo. Matigas na matigas. Sometimes only one side, sometimes both sides. So, pag na-feel nyo yun na oo, oh -oh, on the side, parang naninigas yung side na to, Start your massage right away. Alam niyo ba kung bakit? Pag hindi niyo i-massage yung 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 namamaga na yon or hindi niyo ilalat si baby at ini-empty yung breast na yon. Unti-unting nagiging worse kung ano man yung inflammation sa loob. Inflammation that can lead to sometimes breast infection. Okay? Mastitis. Pag, pag prolong na talaga, meaning for a long time that you haven't emptied your breast properly every time you breastfeed. Nangyayari din na yung breast mo nagkakaroon ka ng bukol-bukol na gatas or uneven uh, shape ng breast nyo dahil puno dito sa isa, dito is empty, is because again, you did not properly, deeply latch the baby. Pag mababaw yung latch ni baby, konti lang yung makukuha na gatas. Even though sasabihin mo, oh, pagkatapos ni baby, si baby tulog, si baby feeling satisfied. Pero hindi mo alam na si baby pala ay hindi pala fully na empty yung breast. Napapagod na lang kasasak without getting enough milk. Kaya tulog na lang. And you think that, oh, satisfied na si baby. Pero doon mo makikita yung evidence mo if the baby is really getting good enough amount of your milk, pag nakikita mo na maraming maraming wet diaper si baby at maraming maraming poop si baby. At doon sa poop ni baby, makikita mo rin kung gaano kadami yung fat na intake ni baby through breastfeeding. Pag mababaw yung latch ni baby at hindi mo pinatapos ma-empty yung breast mo, Malil, kung konti lang yung fat ng milk mo doon sa evidence doon sa poop ng baby mo and you can watch that video about how much is 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 the fat of our milk now going back to engorgement anong gagawin natin pag pag namamaga na yung breast especially dito sa areolar part ito sa sa pink pink area ng breast natin now if you feel like na itong pink pink area ng breast mo, itong areola na to, magang-maga, 
ibig sabihin noon talagang nag-overload na yung fluid mo in your breasts at itong part na to dito yung pinaka-sensitive na nagiging inflamed. Alam niyo ba ang pinaka-sensitive na part ng breast natin is the areolar part, hindi po sa nipple, okay? Itong areolar na to. Now, every time pag ingor um inflame ito, it's called areolar areolar edema, meaning swelling sa areolar new uh, part ng breast niyo. Nagiging sensitive, very sore, very painful. So paano ka makapag latch ni baby effectively kung itong part na to ay swelling? So if you have if you having this situation siguro mga 1 week, 2 weeks after you give birth, you need to make sure na ma-relieve yung pain na yon. Okay? How are you going to do that? So again, we you you can lay flat in your bed or you can just sit down and do the areolar massage massage ang ginagawa ko either you can get um a cold towel ito ha questionable na naman ito kalimitan sa mga healthcare providers sinasabi ka agad sa inyo put a warm towel pag feel nyo na super painful itong area na to never 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 put a warm towel on it Inflame me. Lalong mamamaga yung areola ninyo. Lalong mamamaga yung breast ninyo. Kung inflame na inflame, pain na painful, tapos lagyan nyo ng warm towel. Yun ang kamalian na lagi kong kinukorek pag ako'y nag-workshop dyan sa Philippines. Okay? Mali po yun. Hintayin nyo po na mawala na yung swelling. When the swelling goes down, and no more pain or less pain, and you just want to improve the flow of milk, then you can put warm towel. Doon nyo na ibibilalagay yung warm towel nyo. Pag feel nyo na itong areola na to, hindi, siya, hindi na siya namamaga, there's no, not so much pain anymore, then you can put a warm towel. Pero for the meantime, itong sa situation na ito ni mom, you need to make sure put a cold towel. Okay? You can even use ice ice uh, cubes, ice cubes. Ilagay mo lang sa isang plastic bag. Wrap it with a face towel. Ilagay mo muna dito for let's say 5-10 minutes. Ilagay mo dito. Pag medyo okay na yung pakiramdam, na medyo nag-swelling down, and down, tsaka mo siya start ng massage. Kasi kalimitan sa mga moms na hinahandle ko sa clinic namin, minsan hindi nga nila ma matatouch yung area eh, dahil very painful and very sensitive. Kung kaya nyo i-massage yung areolar part ninyo at hindi na masyadong um, masakit, then do it. Now, so how you gonna massage it? So, let's say you put cold pack mga 10-15 minutes, right? Take it out. If you notice na dry na dry yung dito, kasi pag nag-ingorse yung breast mo, nai-stress yung breast tissue mo, para bang yung skin mo very very dry so you can use a uh, lotion whatever lotion you have you can use oil whatever oil you have at gently massage mo lang ito massage it wag pa ganun ha wrong wag pa ganun po you massage it going out okay going out going out you can just do like this okay going out outward ang massage niyo okay outward outward going going this way going this way okay outward going this way yan ang gagawin niyo yan ang mali na minsan hindi tinuturo sa inyo ng mga healthcare provider niyo diyan okay you need to do uh, uh, outward packet imagine niyo to physiology na naman ito okay anatomy and physiology in physiology pag ang breast niyo is inflamed swelling na mamaga, painful. When you massage it like this, going down, yung ducts ninyo, talagang, ano yun eh, full yung ducts ninyo yun eh, they filled na filled, filled na filled yung ducts ninyo, inflamed na inflamed, ngayon, i-push nyo yun. Pero nyo, i-push nyo yun para lumabas yung fluid. With inflammation, lalong mamamaga yung ducts nyo, lalong mamamaga yung breast nyo. Yun ang minsan nakakalimutan or hindi alam ng ibang mga healthcare provider dyan 
na minsan mali ang tinuturo sa inyo. Okay? Again, depende again. Depende sa situation ng breast nyo. If your breast is just slightly swollen, it's not, it's not too engorged, then you can do massage like this. Massage like this. But if you feel like the pain is too much, the swelling, yung swelling nito talagang namamaga, the, it's so painful, maraming bukol-bukol na milk, then use a cold towel, do it 10 to 15 minutes, then you can match massage outward. Ibig sabihin nun, minsan there's extra fluid sa body natin that you need to reduce the extra fluid. Extra fluid. Because again, yun yung sabi ko ito before, our milk is about 80 to 70 percent water mm -hmm. so there may be extra water or fluid now we have to get rid of it by massaging it outward towards dito sa ating outward uh, nerves um, lymphatic system here drainage lymphatic drainage dito natin kailangan it push yung milk para ma drain in our body okay sa ating lymphatic drainage okay so again ito ang kamalian na uulitin ko na hindi niyo gagawin pag namamaga yung breast niyo lalo na sa mga buntis ngayon you have to pay attention mangyayari at mangyayari sa inyo ito after 3 or 5 days after kayo mga anak or even after weeks na minsan you probably sleep in for too long during the day or during the night na nakalimutan ninyang i-empty yung breast nyo fully kaya nagkakaroon kayo ng complication na ganito. So, salamat sa nag-message sa akin privately about this problem dahil itong problema ng breast engorsement, areolar uh, swelling or edema nangyayari at mangyayari talaga ito for, for mothers who who did not fully empty your breast, who did not latch your baby deeply, who have tons of milk. Mga nanay na maraming mga gatas, mangyayari at mangyayari ito, okay? Lalo na sa mga second-timer mom or third-timer mom. The more babies you're gonna have, the more milk you're gonna have, you will produce. Depende again, kung healthy kayo every pregnancy, healthy kayo every time you get a baby. So, pag first time mom talaga, minsan kalimitang problema is lack of milk supply. Pangalawang buntag buntis mo, you're gonna have kind of double of the supply. The third time, you're gonna have another milk supply increase. So, as long as you maintain mo yung health mo, uh, your iron level is good, wala kang high blood, wala kang gestational diabetes, hindi ka stress. So your milk supply will continue increase through the time na magkakaroon ka ng baby. However, as you get older, minsan na-affectuan yung hormone natin when you get older. Uh, either we have thyroid problem or we have some problem with blood pressure na makaka-affect talaga sa milk supply natin. So again, for breast engorsement or areolar swelling or edema, all you need is to really massage it outward, depende kung um, uh, sa severity ng pain or swelling or inward kung gusto mo talagang ilabas yung mouth, okay? So again, feel the pain, rate your pain. If the pain is about 8 to 10 or 7 to 10 to 10 rate ng pain nyo use a cold cold um uh what do you call this one cold compact pag medyo the swelling is down and the pain is not that much so use a warm towel this information i'm sharing with you today they are all general information it may not work for you it may not work for your baby so you have to make sure if the the situation is severe Make sure you see a doctor, consult a doctor, piliin nyo yung doctor or, or healthcare provider na may kaalaman about uh, lactation dahil kalimitan talaga na, na, na ngayari ito na yung mga turo minsan sa mga healthcare provider, minsan wala din sa, sa research o wala din sa book. So have the reliable information, watch reliable information read reliable informations para 
uh, you're not putting your baby at risk and you are not putting yourself at risk. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Salamat sa mga subscribers. Please continue to subscribe or subscribe now and like this video. Thanks for watching.